Magnifique. Dazzling Kate was the belle of the ball in lavish royal gala with chic sequined gown. It was a whirlwind day for William and Kate. They started the day at St. Patrick's Day Parade in London before taking a private jet to Paris to begin a two-day Brexit charm offensive. The Duchess of Cambridge dazzled in three outfits in just a matter of hours in the French capital. She kicked off her sartorial showcase at the Elise Palace with a black calf-length Alexander McQueen dress that was sleeveless and belted. The dress featured a V-neckline, thick straps, and a slim bodice that opened up into a fluted skirt. Kate accessorized her dress with a black leather belt that features a bow. Kate chose her Balenciaga pearl clip-on earrings for the occasion. It's worth noting that Balenciaga originated in Spain, but now the company's headquarters are in Paris. They're also owned by a French parent company. Kate first debuted the earrings at the Trooping of the Color Parade in London in June 2016. She's worn them for a number of occasions since then. The earrings were made from a silver stone palladium, and they're made with simulated pearls and glass diamonds. Plus, she wore a coordinating statement necklace with four large pearls suspended from a silver chain. You might notice the necklace doesn't have the same diamond detailing around the pearls. The necklace and ring and brooch remain a mystery at the moment. Initially, I assumed they were all Balenciaga to match the earrings, but I cannot find any photos online to confirm this. For the reception, Kate debuted a new pair of Givanto Rossi pumps. Finally, Kate wore her silver stainless steel watch from the French company Cartier. Earlier in the day, the royal couple attended St. Patrick's Day Parade in London, where Middleton, wearing a forest green Catherine Walker coat with matching lock and co, fascinator, and Givanto Rossi suede pumps, handed out sprigs of shamrocks to battalion Irish guards and drank a Guinness with Prince William. But while Kate enjoyed the official beverage of St. Patrick's Day, she reportedly prefers Jack Daniel's whiskey and a drink called a Crack Baby, a mix of vodka, raspberry liqueur, passion fruit, and champagne. Middleton and Prince William also attended an embassy gala dinner on Friday, where the Duchess wore an ice blue gown by Jenny Packham, a longtime favorite of Middleton. She wore the designer on countless royal occasions, including after giving birth to Princess Charlotte in 2015, while posing for photographers on the steps of St. Mary's Hospital in London. The pair, on their first official visit to the city since the death of William's mother, Princess Diana, 20 years ago, finished the evening at the ambassador's residence next door, where she dazzled in an ice-blue Jenny Packham dress. After Prince William made headlines with his dad dancing during a booze-filled land skiing holiday last weekend, Kate ensured all eyes were on her as she stole the show in her range of sophisticated outfits. But if he thought he could entirely put the embarrassment of his wild weekend behind him, William was sadly mistaken when a group of child performers sang Pharrell Williams' song Happy, the tune the royal danced to in the club in Verbier. The couple's official appearance drew additional scrutiny after the video of Prince William dancing at a Switzerland nightclub went viral. In the video shot at a nightclub at Hotel Franiter in Verbier, Wills danced solo while raising the roof to the song I Got Five On It by rap duo Linus and later put his arm around the waist of a mystery woman. Middleton, who stayed home with three-year-old Prince George and one-year-old Princess Charlotte, was reportedly not happy with her husband's behavior. It was William's choice to go away, but make no mistake, Kate wears the trousers in that marriage, and she won't be happy with William's antics. She thought his partying days and larking around with the boys was a thing of the past. I imagine she'll find this humiliating, and William will have come in for a pesting. The timing of the ski trip also made headlines because it caused the prince to skip the Commonwealth Day service, which celebrates peace between 52 countries. The entire royal family was present except for Kate, and Williams's absence evoked past complaints of the prince's so-called lax work ethic, with some calling him work-shy.